All right, what's up, everybody? Rob Dog with another episode of Buzzing on a Budget. Uh, just going to jump right into the review today. Going to be reviewing the Beatbox Beverage. Now, I picked this up at my local liquor store. The original price was $3.99. I only had $3.70 something cents, but they let me pick it up anyway. So, uh, shots out to King's Liquor. All right, but uh, anyways, a little bit about the drink. Uh, looked them up online. Turns out they were on the show uh, Shark Tank. We all know the show. I never really get to watch it because I don't have cable. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'm not really sure how good they did on the show. But anyways, they got their own product, man. You can check it out. Uh, looks like a old school Walkman. Now, uh, you know, it be back in the days, man, in the early 90s. It was, uh, the original uh, MP3 players or uh, iPods or whatever. Uh, but yeah, anyways, man, the original products, they came in like these big old like uh, boxes of, of wine. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a wine-based cocktail. So, you know, they had like these big old boxes of wine, but they look like boom boxes, man. Put a little picture of them right here, you know, like old school beat street, like crushed groove, you know, on the shoulder, ghetto blasters or whatever. And uh, yeah, so that, the original product had these big old boom boxes and then they came out with these little Walkmans. And I don't know why I picked up Blue Raspberry. They had like pink lemonade or something. Should have picked up that because, man, this thing's going to be blue. It's going to turn my doo-doo neon green. All right, but anyways, go ahead, crack this open. 11.1% uh, alcohol by volume, so nice little kick to it at least. So uh, let's go ahead and give this a little pour. No, this is a light blue, so not as crazy color blue as I thought it'd be. It's actually kind of transparent. Go ahead and check that out. But yeah, you know, uh, so never really seen this before. Not really too familiar with it. Let me check that out. Like I said, you got the Walkman on there. But let's go ahead and give this a taste. Well, it got some kick to it. Um... Yeah, it tastes kind of like candy-ish, but not over sweetie, not like syrupy, kind of does kind of taste more like a real cocktail, mm, kind of got my mouth watery, but yeah, it's pretty smooth, like I said, it's kind of not syrupy, kind of tastes the uh, alcohol, but like at the same time, it's, it's a little watery. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because it goes down smooth. Like I said, it's a little watery, but it doesn't have that overwhelming sweetness. I mean, I don't know, kind of like a flavored wine, maybe kind of like a watered down Fort Loco, but not without the funkiness. Uh, nice raspberry flavor, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's all right, but man, four bucks. A uh, little steep, little steep. But, um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Uh, like I said, uh, it's a little different. Like I said, kind of watery. Uh, but it doesn't have that overwhelming sweetness. Uh, does kind of remind me like a, maybe like a heavy wine cooler or something. But, um, yeah, I don't know, man. I guess you just have to check it out. Uh, if you have checked this out before, let me know what you think. Um, and, you know, that's the review, man. So check us out for the next video. Leave a like, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Coming out with new stuff all the time. And as always, never drink and drive. Drink responsibly. Make sure you're legal drinking age and give a toast.